understanding the causes of pain in PSC, lots of people have different theories. I mean, I think the first thing is to try and, I mean, I think the first thing, you know, and I, I have different patients, sometimes people get pain out of the blue, okay, and sometimes severe pain. And the problem is in PSC, when you have a very thin tube that's scarred, sometimes you can have little microstones that develop in there. And I think the first thing is making sure in any patient in PSE and pain, there's a number of things to do. But the first thing to do, in my experience, often is to make sure you're not little, missing little microstones. And the problem is MRI misses those. In fact, MRI misses about 5% of stones anyway. But when you're talking about little microstones, you can really miss them. And sometimes, therefore, doing an endoscopic ultrasound where you go down you use ultrasound to look at the bile duct and see if you can, where you get, you know, probably the best sensitivity of little stones is invaluable. So I think, first of all, always make sure with pain you're not missing that. The other thing is and the, what a lot of us assume is it's somehow related to pain induced by inflammation. So once again, making sure that a patient hasn't developed another autoimmune disease on top of their PSC, for most people, may not be aware about five to 8% of people with PSE are thought to maybe develop an overlap where they get a bit of autoimmune hepatitis on top of their PSC. Some of those can present with tiredness, fatigue, and sometimes pain in my experience. So I think the honest answer is, does physio help? I think is a difficult question. I'm not sure there's any randomized control evidence that it does. I think it's important always to make sure you've excluded as much as you can in terms of, and of course, once again, and I'm not trying to you know, upset people, but cancer can sometimes be the men's presentation of pain in PSC. In fact, it's one of the symptoms I always ask my patients because it can be one of the earliest symptoms. I think new onset pain always has to be evaluated with some sort of imaging like MRI or you know, to make sure you're not missing something. So for a lot of people with pain, it is just part of the disease. There's not a reason for it, but make sure you've been fully evaluated for things that can cause pain and have been ruled out.